and also include the expansion just as a quick little aside. So, how do we do this? First, let's go through the game. The base game has three suits. You're going to have, as you can see here, the stars. There we go. Swirls. And the skulls. Now, the skulls are going to have six cards. Five are numbered number five, and one is a mirror. We'll touch on that in a second. The swirls are numbered one through five with a mirror as well. And then the stars have five number ones and a mirror. What you're going to do is shuffle these up. I'm going to shuffle it up and show you how it's played. All right, everything's shuffled up. What you're going to do is take two D6. You're going to roll them. So, real quick, sixes count as mirrors. Mirrors are going to reflect the other die. So this is actually going to become a four. There we are. So I have two fours. What I have to do is, is equal a total either of one die, both dice combined, the sum, or the difference in between. So, if I, for example, if I had, say, a two and a four, I could do a two, a three, a four, or a six. But with double fours, my only option is to get four or to get eight total. Now, this is mostly fives. This is range one through five. This is ones. I can use maximum of one card per stack. I can go with as little as one card or three cards. The goal is to get this played out so that you have only one card remaining of each stack. So, let's see if I can manage this. You pick out the cards first without looking at them. I'm going to try to hit eight. So I'm assuming this is a five. I'm hoping this is somewhere in between and this will be a one. So what I would do is flip them over. I have a five, I have a mirror, which will be important, and a second mirror. So I actually bust it. The mirrors are gonna reflect the five. I have a total of 15, I failed. I will get a failure chip. If I get three failure chips, I lose the game. Now. These will, no matter win, lose, whichever, these will go off to the side. I then roll again. Okay. I rolled a two and a six, which basically is going to be then two twos. So I can hit two. I can hit four. That is about it. I'm probably going to shoot from this. I have a chance at a two and a four, so I'm going to keep track off to the side because I have the mirror from this, so I have a one, two, three, four, and a five. That's based on my only shot, because a five is going to bust. A single one probably won't do it. I will try with this card. I have a three. Not, not what I needed, because I needed either the total of a single die, both dice together, or in between. So I bust again. I get a second failure chip. This is going to be a really quick game. Uh, we already did that. Let's just, for the sake of discussion. There we are. That was a five. Five and three. So I'm allowed a three a four, a five, or an eight. The very least, I'm gonna assume there's a five here. But if I can get eight total through the use of all these other cards, I can actually remove one of these failure chips. So I'm gonna try again. So I wanna try and get eight. I know that from this, I have a three and a mirror. So this is kind of a gamble. Two and a mirror, I have a total of four. So I passed, but I didn't break the bank. So I have two more of these cards I can use. I have three of these cards I can use, three of these cards I can use. Your goal is to get down to one of each card. If you do, you then see how many failure chips. Obviously zero is perfect. Um, the exact terms are zero is your Harry Houdini, one chip is your the amazing rando, two your Pendulette, three your Job Bluth. So that's that. Now, how do we get into deduction? The uh, expansion. Let me bring that up. Alright, so Smoke and Mirrors Deduction is a six card expansion. It's actually a fourth suit called Slips. So it's a little caution symbol there. You have five negative ones and a mirror. You'll shuffle this up. It'll become a fourth stack. Now, with four stacks, you are not going to have four cards. You have access to four cards. You can play a maximum of three. So once again, I'm going to roll. Okay, so I have my two and six, this will become basically a two again. I have a total of four, either a two or four. What I can do, if I want to try for a four, I'm going to assume this is a five, I'm going to put it in a negative one. Boom, I hit four. So if I had a failure chip previously, this 
total, the sum would actually take away that chip. So it makes it a little easier to hit more specific numbers. But it is another suit where I have to use up five more cards. So it's gonna take a little more trying. So I now have negative ones, fives, one through five, ones, and there's a chance of a mirror in any of those. And that's basically the game. It's a very quick playing game. It is similar to the multiplayer, but I actually really enjoy the solo overall. Hopefully we'll take a look into it. This is Smoke and Mirrors, and this is the expansion, Deduction. Hopefully this helped, and hopefully you'll decide whether or not it's right for you.